Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you my recent Kino Lorber sale haul. Kino Lorber is having a sale called the Rocktober sale, which ends on October the 26th. And I'm going to link that. I'm going to link the. Uh, I'm going to put the sale link in the description below. But Kino Lorber is one of my favorite labels, um, and when I can, I will try to order from their website. If the prices are competitive on Amazon, I might pick up a few titles there. But for the most part. During the sales, a lot of these titles are significantly reduced. So I much prefer the website. And again, I will include that link below. And the first one I'm going to show is, um, now these are some titles that have been on my list for some time. And this one is a documentary about one of my favorite singers, uh, Linda Ronstadt. And so this has the, the, the sound of my voice is the name of it. And there's the back of that one. Now these just came in today, so they're, not, they're still um, sealed. This one has some bonus features, additional interviews, but I'm such a big fan of hers and I'm really excited to watch this. I haven't seen it um, yet, so I, I'm really excited to um, watch this one. I'm a big fan of music documentaries also, so if you have a favorite music documentary, let me know in the comments below. I'm always um, interested in new ones of those. In fact, I just recently saw one, this is a little off topic, on um, Apple TV Plus, I think, and it was a documentary from Todd Haynes about the Velvet Underground. Highly recommend that if you have Apple TV. Uh, it's really good, probably one of the best documentaries that I've seen in a long time, but I thought I'd mention that here as well. Um, next title I picked up is uh, a, a, a film that is on a lot of people's list. This is Deep Star Six. And this has been on my wish list for a long time for Kino Lorber. Look at all those extra features on the back, special features there. Um, audio commentaries, uh, a few audio commentaries, interviews with Creature Effects and special makeup designer Mark Shostrom, Creature Supervisor Greg Nicotero, which you probably know from The Walking Dead, Creature Artist Robert Kurtzman, uh, the Survivor's interviews with actors Greg Evigan and Nancy Everhard, water damage, interview with the stunt coordinator. So lots of extra features on this one. Uh, I'm sure I probably saw this years ago, but I haven't seen it recently. Uh, so I'm excited to rewatch this one. The next one, uh, I, thought was out, I thought this one was out of print for a while, but I'm so happy that it isn't. And it's a great Halloween favorite, probably Terror Train. I think this is the first movie that Jamie Lee Curtis made after Halloween 1978 and uh, correct me in the comments uh, on that one uh, but I believe this was her first film after Halloween so I'm excited to watch this I'm sure I saw this again many many years ago since I was such a big fan of Halloween 1978 and uh, so I'm happy to get a copy of this and be able to watch it again this one has a brand New 2K scan of the original uh, internegative brand new on-camera interviews with the director and the screenwriter and an original trailer. So this is a great release from Kino Lorber and I'm so excited I was able to pick it up. Lately I've been getting into some Italian horror and I picked this one up. Uh, this is from the Mario Bava collection. I, was, I, I recently watched Bay of Blood which I really enjoyed and this one is Black Sabbath. Uh, I know there's two different versions of this one. This happens to be the Italian language edition. There's the back of that one. And I much prefer the original language with uh, subtitles. That's just my preference. And so I picked this one up. This one has uh, some, well, this has Italian and optional English uh, subtitles, original trailers. Um, and uh, so I'm excited to watch this one. Haven't seen this one. If you have a, if you have a favorite Mario Bava film, let me know in the comments below also because I'm really kind of getting into this particular, uh, you know, his uh, films. Oh yes, and this one, I've, I've waited a long time for this one. I, I think I heard of this one originally from the Just the Discs YouTube channel and uh, which I'm a really huge uh, fan of and Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid. This is a Carl Reiner film with Steve Martin and kind of a... Um, uh, a an homage to an homage to uh, film noir, and so this has an audio commentary by filmmaker Alan Arkish and film historian Daniel Kramer. Radio spots, TV spots, and a theatrical trailer. So I'm really excited to see this one. I haven't seen this one in many many years, and I'm happy that Kino Lorber uh, put it out. This one also has a slipcover, which I'm lately I've been in such a huge fan of for some reason. I just love having a slipcover on there, even more than a steelbook perhaps. So really excited about that one. 
Uh, this one I haven't seen in a long time either, but it uh, was recommended. And this is Career Opportunities, which is an early Jennifer Connelly film and um, a comedy from John Hughes. Uh, again, probably saw this years ago, but haven't seen it in such a long time. And this has an audio commentary by Chicago Critics Film Festival producer Eric uh, Childress. And uh, so I'm excited to see this one also. This next one, I remember doing a video with my good friend Daisuke Beppu about Alfred Hitchcock, and he recommended this film that I haven't seen. I'm a huge fan of Alfred Hitchcock, and I haven't seen this one. This is Under Capricorn, so I'm, I'm happy I finally was able to pick up a copy of this. Again, waiting for the sales, and um, this one I haven't seen, so I'm, I, I think I've completed now my Alfred Hitchcock collection with silent films and all of, all of the films that he did. This one also has an audio commentary by film historian Kat Ellinger, uh, Hitchcock Truffaut um, Icon uh, Interviews Icon, which is which is going to be great. Uh, Cinema of Signs, Claude Chevrolet on Alfred Hitchcock in a theatrical trailer. So I'm really excited to see this one again. I love Alfred Hitchcock. Let me know in the comments below too if you have a favorite Alfred Hitchcock movie or whether you've seen this film and whether you like it, let me know. Also from just the discs, uh, I have not seen this movie. This is Last Man on Earth, Vincent Price. I'm a big fan of Vincent Price also, but I don't have many of his films. And there's the back of that one. Uh, this one also has some extra features, an audio commentary by Richard Harlan Smith, Richard Matheson, storyteller, trailers from hell with Joe Dante. So I'm excited to watch this one. Huge Vincent Price fan. I just um, did not have this one in my collection. And finally, I think again, another recommendation by the great YouTube channel, just the disc and Brian does a great job. If you haven't uh, been to his channel, please check it out. I'll, I'll, I'll put a link to his channel below, but it's just one of the best YouTube channels out there for sure. And uh, this one is one that I, again, probably saw back a long time ago. I'm a big fan of early Clint Eastwood movies and this is Coogan's Bluff. And uh, this one I believe is about a, um, Clint Eastwood and director Don Siegel uh, begin their legendary collaboration with the Cracker Jack crime thriller. I'm a big fan of crime thrillers also. Eastwood commands the screen as Walt Coogan, an, an Arizona deputy sheriff. I'm a, I'm, I really enjoy um, uh, police dramas and crime thrillers, and so this one's right up my alley for sure. This one has an audio commentary by filmmaker Alex Cox, an audio commentary by Sledgehammer creator Alan Spencer, an interview with actor Don Stroud, radio spots, etc. So lots of extra features on this one. This one also has a slip cover and the artwork is the same there. But I really, like I said, really for some reason really like these slip covers. Sometimes as the titles begin to sell out, you will get a copy without a slip cover. But in this particular haul, I received a few with slip covers, so which is which is pretty exciting. So uh, thanks so much for watching this video. That's my Kino Lorber Rocktober sale haul. I'll probably be placing another order. So if you have any recommendations, if you like Kino Lorber, let me know also in the comments below. Let me know if there's any other titles maybe that I should pick up. But, um, and I will also, as I mentioned in the beginning, link the, uh, I'll put the sale link in the description. The sale lasts until the 26th of October. Again, I'm sure I'm gonna place another order. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, click on like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I would really appreciate that. I sincerely hope that everyone is safe and well. I'll talk to you soon.